And we're going to meet Victoria Cobb with the Family Foundation of Virginia. Victoria, thanks for uh, spending a few moments to chat with us today. First, get some questions about your organization, what you do. Tell me where you're located and how many people work with you. Sure. Uh, we're located in the capital city of Richmond, uh, just about 180 seconds from the capital. We walk right up that hill to keep track of our legislators. We're actually the oldest and largest pro-family organization in Virginia and are privileged to be that close to the capital. But we also have local grassroots organizations around the state that give us a local feel that there's actually part of us in your backyard. Yeah. Tell me about the issues that you face in Tennessee. What are the, the big topics that you hit each year? Well, in Virginia, we work on issues like life, uh, marriage, parental authority, religious liberty, and constitutional government. Those are sort of our five guiding principles. And under that, that gets us into issues of abortion, even stem cell, embryonic stem cell research, um, all the way into things like school choice, where we believe that every parent is ultimately responsible to God for the outcome of their children, and we want them to be able to have that best decision about where their child goes to school. So all sorts of things are on our plate. What, what is it that puts those at the top of your list? Why are those the, the issues that are at the core of what you're doing? Well, we know exactly um, what the family is meant to be and how it's designed and how important it is that we try to restore in our culture that understanding of the nuclear family and its role in society. And so um, we're working on things like, for example, most Virginians would now know us as the leader of the marriage amendment that just happened uh, in our state where we were able to organize a lot of organizations to come together to fight for a simple concept that, that a child needs both a mom and a dad and needs that opportunity. Uh, and we were excited to have a victory on that front. Tell me about the ways that, that you work to influence uh, both legislation and also other outcomes. Sure. Well, we have five full-time staff, and then during the General Assembly session, we have five lobbyists that we uh, basically are up the hill all the time, sitting down in committee meetings, working one-on-one -on -one with legislators to hold them, uh, to give them an understanding of these legislative items. They see 3,000 bills, sometimes in a session as short as 46 days. Wow. Um, and so it's our job to hone through all those bills and, and really get to the core of the bills that focus on the family. And so we help them understand those bills and know how to vote uh, in accordance to um, these biblical principles. And so um, that's our job. And then we go back to citizens and we share with citizens how their legislator voted so they can then hold them accountable at the ballot box. What's down the road for you when you look into the future? What do you see? Oh, well, we've got fights on all fronts and uh, a lot of exciting things happening. We are excited that we're getting very close to having internet filters required in every single library across Virginia. We believe that parents protect their kids at home. Why in our taxpayer-funded libraries should they not be protected um, from this type of material? Um, we do believe that the future holds uh, a place where children can have a choice in education, no matter what their financial situation is. We do believe um, that the future holds a better, better place for religious freedom. We work hard on so many of those issues where we hear kids in schools are told, you know, you can't speak out about your faith, you can't wear this t-shirt, you can't go to this club. Um, we believe it's our job to step in and help those situations and make sure that our land continues to be the place that our founders, especially in Virginia, uh, a bastion of religious liberty, that it is still um, supporting people of faith speaking out in the public square. The nature of this is you win some, you lose some. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you in the fight? Personally, I just think to the, the, the thought that God doesn't call us to be successful. He calls us to be faithful. And so for me, that's, that's kind of what I fall back on. I've heard that said by a lot of folks, and I just kind of hold that dear because I do know um, this is not a, a, a quick win. This is not a short battle. We are in this for the long term. I, I am but one vessel, one tool, one stepping stone. Um, we know that the Family Foundation will be here 20 years from now, fighting these same fights, uh, hopefully better fights, hopefully our culture's in a, in a greater place. But I'm motivated. I'm motivated by my own family. Um, I look at my daughter and I say, you know what, every day I'm going to get up and I'm going to make the world a place that I want you and your children um, to be proud of. Very good. Thank you, Victoria. Great chatting with you. Thanks for having me.